You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. And today we have the um, another annual event. It's called Keep Brockton Beautiful. We've been here for, I'm not sure how many years. 13. But I'm going to ask Patrick Sullivan, who's in charge of it. 13 years, Mark. Nice to 13. see you. Welcome nice back. Nice to see you, too. Uh, spring is sprung, sort of. Sort of. Right now we're dealing with rainy and drizzly, but no snow. Hopefully right. it'll stay that way. Um, tell us about Keep Rockin' Beautiful. Day. You okay. said 13, number 13. Right. Lucky 13, Lucky 13, right? 13 this year, right. Keep Rockin' Beautiful Day started 13 years ago when some uh, city councilors and some concerned citizens um, we're questioning the, the, the cleanliness of the city and what we could do to clean things up in the spring. And uh, we decided to set up a volunteer, totally volunteer, totally not taxpayer funded event to clean up certain areas of the city. And uh, it started from, from that first one in 2004 until now. Uh, it's, we've had some years have been better than others, but, uh, but we still have the... Um, Still have that core group that goes out every every uh, once a year. We go from Heights Crossing, mm -hmm. which is across from Westgate Mall. Uh, we start about eight o'clock in the morning. People sign up. We give them a location unless they already have a location that they would like to clean themselves. Uh, they go out. They clean it. We go and uh, pick up the bags, get rid of get rid of the trash, and then they come back for a cookout at Heights Crossing, and it's. Uh, it's a very good community event, especially when the weather's nice. It's a, it's a great event. Well, I remember city councilors back in the day. I think it was Tom Brophy, and it mm -hmm. might have been Greg Miller, who mm -hmm. was in Ward 1. 2004 seems like an awful long time it ago does, me at this it? point. Yeah. But it's been through different mayors. Mayor Mayor Units, Mayor Harrington, Mayor Belzotti, now Mayor Carpenter. Correct. So, yeah, so. Um, And what, I, what you see happening is um, different neighborhood groups get involved. Like, I know this year they can't clean up Keith Park because it's under renovations, right. but like um, I remember before this event ever happened, um, your Edgar Park mm -hmm. used to do a cleanup. I know they're, they're planning to do that. Yeah. And there have been more parks that have been reinvigorated over the, the, the years uh, under the current administration they're, they're anyway. Mm -hmm. So it's like adopt your favorite corner too. If somebody had an idea, they can come there too. Like I know people go near the Howard Street Bridge, which seems like it's, mm -hmm. you know, throw the trash out the window mm -hmm. and it's a dumping ground. Yep. I know groups have done that. But you supply all the stuff. And like you said, it's not taxpayer funded. Uh, the, I believe the refuse company donates yep. containers and bags. You get rakes, you get gloves, you get a little bit of mm -hmm. everything, right? That's true. We get, uh, we've had the last three years uh, for the T-shirts, we've had T-shirt sponsors uh, who were all set for this year. But they sponsor to get their name on the back of the shirt and to support the cause. So everyone still can get that free T-shirt that shows up, and, and it pays for the gloves and the things that we only use once. Um, and, and that way we keep it as just basically a community type event. Now there is, if I'm not mistaken, too, a beautification committee? There is a beautification committee in, in the city of Brockton, and uh, I'm on that. My, my supervisor, Larry Raleigh, is on that, the DPW commissioner. Uh, we're, and, uh, we also have one city councilor who Ian? would be on that. Is no, that Ann Beauregard would be, or Shirley? No, it's Shirley Azak okay. is, is on our, uh, she's the beautification committee uh, member. And then we have uh, just some various community members, and that's not really limited, but uh, there's, a, you know, there's a few people that, that uh, are on that committee. And they drive not just Keep Brockton Beautiful Day, but any type of uh, community event. We, we're not just limiting ourselves to that day. We do right. different cleanups. Uh, this is the biggest one by yeah. far. I know they do one uh, in Campello. I know they've done the they, BRA has done them mm -hmm. in the past before. I break down the street off, off of North Main. Sure. We've been we've been to all of them, and and, yeah. and and like I said, your neighborhood groups. You now have neighborhood associations. Yeah. Um, my old neighborhood is Ash Street. I go okay, by yeah. there all the time, and you got to got to hope yeah. and pray sometimes because it, it's, it looks a little bit neglected. But mm -hmm. you also have people going out. Um, we get help over here between Work Express mm -hmm. from Mainspring, and you also have the community corrections. The people have to do work because yes. they got convicted of a minor offense. Mm -hmm. They're not felons or anybody that would harm anybody. Right. So they're out doing the cleaning. And uh, 
We're lucky. We work with the parking authority. Those folks do a great job every day. They, yeah. they, they help us with our lot because we, we use uh, our, some of our lot and our lower mm -hmm. lot for, for residents with all the yeah. new development in downtown. Mm -hmm. um, you don't want to come into a city that doesn't look pretty. No, you don't. You don't. And one of the things, even in my own department in the refuse, uh, Mayor Carpenter had, he's made us a little bit more active. We've hi we had hired some, a few more men. And primarily, it's just to clean up. They're, they, you'll see them on the street every day, picking or doing it, taking care of dumpings or taking care of tires or whatever they find. Uh, I think we've been a lot more responsive in the past because we have a little bit more manpower than we used to. So uh, the mayor does take this very seriously. The, and, and we should because the, the, uh, it's the broken window theory. You know, if it, if it looks bad, mm -hmm. People think it's bad, and they just add to the pile. And if, if you can keep it clean, good things can happen. And I think it was last year that he just got off a plane the day before from a trip to Cape Verde and showed up at Heights Crossing. All night or pretty, tonight pretty, tonight pretty, pretty early sure. to do yeah. there yeah. with a smile on his face. Mm -hmm. And he Absolutely. went out. I've met wonderful people as we've been yeah. covering this event. We, mm -hmm. we have people, uh, different people of the different schools. I remember going yeah. one year to the Plouffe School. Uh, G Jay was with me, and we got them all to do a cheer to keep rocking beautiful. People yeah. get pumped up about it. it. They do. I mean, if you look around the city, there are a lot of nice locations. I know Garden Club participates with yes, you. They do. I know they have a big show coming up, um, but yeah. it's a different weekend. I, yes, yeah. I don't think it's, it's, it's on this our, weekend. It's, not it's this weekend, so it's early. But they beautify the city. They and do they a great do plantings, job. Mm -hmm. But they also care about different places. Uh, Lynn Smith is involved with that Douglas Garden over on Frederick Douglas Avenue, so I know sure. that gets spiffed up. The kids from the, the, the what I call the old Brockton High, uh -huh. they usually work around that area. So something for everybody, there's not a lack. And, and the Heights, yeah. nice thing is Heights Crossing mm -hmm. lets you guys use that place to start it and do the cookout at the end. They're a good community That's partner. That's such a big help. It would be so hard to find an area that can accommodate all those people. And, uh, and do the cooking for us and, and provide the food for free. I'm not sure what we'd be able to do without them. It would make life a lot harder. To There's information somebody. on the city website? There is. There's information on the city website, not just information, but there is a link you can click on. The city does require um, you to s sign a waiver form right. so that you, if you get injured, uh, that there's a liability waiver. You can uh, click on on the city website, download that form and sign it. That will save you some time when you get there, uh, when you get there right? Uh, because instead of having to wait for the form and fill it out. But when you get there, uh, that's when we can either assign you an area or, or whatever. We'll also give you your t-shirt at the time, your gloves, any tools and bags that you need. Uh, that's your check-in. Normally we have coffee and donuts there for, you know, to get you and going. And bring some friends. Absolutely. Bring as many friends as you can. Patrick, thank you. We'll go for Lucky 13. It's Keep Brockton Beautiful Day. It's Saturday, April 22nd uh, in the morning, early, 8, 8.30 over there. We'll get everybody out on the road at 9 o'clock and yeah. get you back for a cookout at noon, correct? Sounds like a plan. Thanks for coming in. Thanks, I appreciate Mark. Okay. everything you. you do. You're watching Greater Brockton. Uh, stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.